What's up guys, this is Andy from the 9 one man YouTube channel and in this video I'm going to show you a Tether jailbreak with Snow Breeze 2.3 Beta 1 for the iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS old boot ROM and new boot ROM, iPod Touch 3rd generation and iPod Touch 4th generation and also the 1st generation iPad. Again, this is a Tether jailbreak which means every time your device needs, needs a reboot, like uh, turn it off and turn it back on, you have to connect uh, your device to your computer and run the software again. It's actually going to run a different software called iBooty and I'll, I'll show you how all that it's done in just one minute in the tutorial but this is I'm just explaining right now um, what you have to do. Um, also there is no unlock for 4.3. Uh, Snow Breeze does the software that it's, it's going to jailbreak your device, does preserve, preserve your baseband but there's no uh, unlock for 4.3 so don't update yet if you're depending on one. Uh, I recommend that you stay on 4.2.1 but if you're in desperate need of a jailbreak this is the only option you have. And let me show you guys that my iPod Touch is on 4.3. As you see I've got the new face time icon and 4.3 Okay, let's begin the tutorial. Once you download Snow Breeze from the description below, you're also going to need to download the 4.3 firmware for your device. I'll have a link to this website in the description below and you can just um, come to this website and click right here and search for your device. Uh, I'm jailbreaking an iPod Touch 4. Of course, I'm going to need the 4.3 firmware for my iPod Touch 4, so it's right here. So you can just click on that and you can click download. Okay, so when you have your 4.3 firmware uh, for your device and the Snow Breeze 2.3 Beta 1 executable file, you're ready to actually begin and start jailbreaking your device. So you're going to double click on the uh, Snow Breeze file and just hit yes and just run the file. And here's Snow Breeze. Uh, I can just click OK here and we can close the credits and as you see here it gives you kind of a warning this is really only for people who want it uh, this is tethered via iBooty um, so again tethered jailbreak you cannot turn off your device if you turn it on you have to connect it to your computer again in order in order to get it to uh, turn back on and I'm going to show you how that's done in one minute and it's, that's done via iBooty it, <laughs> um, I think after I finish this uh, after I finish fin uh, Snow Breeze I'm downloading the IPSW file it, it will um, download iBooty for me and another warning it gives us is mobile substrate does not currently work and that means Winterboard is not going to work because uh, mobile substrate and Winterboard they kind of depend on each other Unlockers only use baseband prevention mode if you really need to. Again, do not update uh, if you're depending on an unlock. And again, it's telling us Ultra Snow that's the unlock is currently broken in 4.3. So let's begin. And it gives us another warning and it's saying, Are you sure you want to do this? And we can just hit yes. So we're going to browse for the 4.3 firmware for our device. We can just double click on that. And it's going to identify. And as you see, uh, it's, it verified it. It's a 4.3 IPSW file. It's an iPod Touch 4. And it, shows, it gives you a nice picture here and tells you it's an iPod Touch 4. And we can hit the blue arrow to continue. And we're going to go to export mode. Again, click the blue arrow. And we can click on general, blue arrow. And you can enable battery percentage and you can install SSH if you want to and you can change the root partition size I just leave that the same um, I don't like to mess with that and you can also install custom packages if you want to I, again I don't do that you can't do custom boot logos and of course it's an iPod touch so no unlock so once you do all that you're gonna hit build IPSW and hit the blue arrow and while waiting uh, for the IPSW to finish being built, would you like to play Pac-Man? 
Uh, let's play Pac-Man. So just give it some time to build the IPSW uh, file. Uh, I think it'll take about five minutes and I'll be back when it's ready. So Snowbreeze just finished building the IPSW file and now it wants us to put our device into DFU mode so we can restore uh, to the IPSW file that it made for us so we can jailbreak our device. Okay, so let's start this. Uh, it says prepare to home and power five seconds. So now press and hold the home and bu um, power button for 10 seconds. And then you're going to let go of the power button and keep holding the home button for about 30 seconds. As you see it's saying exploiting with lime rain. Keep holding the home button and let go when this message pops up. It says your uh, your uh, iDevice is now in a pwned state, black screen. Uh, you may now sh uh, launch iTunes and do a shift plus restore to the custom IPSW located on your desktop. Note if you get error 2003. Uh, in iTunes, after extracting, just unplug slash replug, replug uh, and do it again. So we can just click OK. And now we can launch. Uh, it's saying cleaning up. Okay. So now we can launch uh, iTunes. Okay. So on iTunes, uh, we should have the this. You should be on this screen, and you should go to restore and click shift. Left click on restore and you can browse for the and you have to browse for the 4.3 firmware that Snowbreeze made for you um, which should be saved to your desktop and it is, it's right here as you see it says Snowbreeze iPod Touch 4.3 IPSW so you can double click on that and click open and as you see it says iTunes will erase uh, and restore your iPod to iOS 4.3 so just hit restore and just give it some time here and you should have your device jailbroken with a tether jailbreak from Snowbreeze. I'll be right back when it's finished doing all this. Okay so iTunes just finished um, restoring it and now it wants me to connect to iTunes so you're gonna need to disconnect and reconnect and my device should be uh, jailbroken and I'm gonna show you the tether jailbreak via iBooty right now because I don't think Cydia will work at the moment you're gonna need to um I'm gonna need to run iBooty okay so Here we have iTunes trying to load, uh, and you can rest restore from a backup. I recommend that you set up as a new iPod, just because uh, just you'll have more uh, free memory. Because some of the jailbreak data might be restored as a backup, and you'll just have it there, and you won't be, it won't actually be there. Just be just stored on the system. Um, so set up as a new iPod. Continue and let me type in my name and you can automatically sync uh, apps and songs I'm just gonna cancel the sync so here's my iPod touch on 4.3 with Cydia and now of course as you see Cydia is crashing I'm going to need to run iBooty and iBooty installs by itself when you do the whole Snowbreeze process. Um, so as you see iBooty 4.3 and run the exe file, the executable. And it says select your device, iPod Touch 4 and we can hit start here. 
So it says prepare to press home and power for five seconds. Now I'm going to actually press them. And release the power button and keep holding the home button. Again, you're going to need to do this every time your device reboots. As you see, iTunes popped up. Um, and iBooty saying exploding with lime rain. And iBooty should do everything, not iTunes. And here's my iPod Touch running the exploit. Okay, so iBooty, I just finished um, implementing that with, uh, with the iPod Touch and now as you see CD is working. Um, I mean, what's my password? But yeah, CD is working. Again, if I turn off my device right now, I'm going to have to run iBooty to get it to turn back on. Um, but yeah, as you see, my iDevice is jailbroken. And here I have Cydia, and it's on 4.3. And it's on 4.3, as you see. So that's it, guys. Um, if you have any questions or if, you have, or if you're having any problems, please leave a comment below, and I'll try to help you out. Um, and if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, because I have a lot more videos like this on my channel. And I am getting the iPad 2. Uh, I pre-ordered it online from apple.com. It should be here by Thursday, so expect an unboxing. And yeah, thanks for watching. Peace.